Hey everyone, welcome back to Ebony with Genghis. So I wanted to talk about selecting generals, which ones should be the main, which one should be the assistant, and how to prioritize that. So uh, I'll just, sh can I show you this? Oh, my generals are out right now. But anyways, here's an example. So I have a main general and an assistant. That's what I'm talking about, okay? So I'm gonna tell you how to choose which is which. And basically it's gonna come down to money. So uh, whether you're a big coiner or not, that's what it's gonna come down to. Always remember, get a discount on your coining. Check out the Amazon App Store. I have a video on it about a week and a half ago, exactly how to install it. You get 20% off on all your discounts in Ebony legally. You won't get that dreaded letter. I'm starting to see people getting their accounts banned, not only gems taken away from Ebony. Anyways, let's get into it. So basically, we know that there are four types of troops. Well, five if you go with your wall general, right? So if we look here, you're going to need a ground march. You're going to need an archer march. You're going to need a horse march. You're going to need a siege march and then a wall general. Even like no matter how big a coiner you are, you're not going to like in order to ascend the generals, it's going to be so expensive to ascend these guys, all of them, 10 stars. So look at this. I have Martinez. I have a big coiner account. I can't afford to ascend every single general to 10 stars if they're not in the tavern. So that's what you really have to focus on. Who's available in the tavern? So uh, I'll just go through these basically one at a time. I'm going to look at my generals and show you. So basically, if you want to go in, actually, you know what? It's probably better for me to do this in the actual tavern and uh, show you in there. So if you want to uh, look for generals in the tavern, that's going to be easier. You know, there are better generals that aren't in the tavern. So we're not going to talk about guys like... Uh, like Simeon, right? He's, not, he's just not going to be your primary general. So the, we're going to talk about some uh, unique ways you can get generals. So look at this. This is an actual pretty good way that you can get some generals. So you can get Hannibal in the fragments here. If you want to pay $20 a month, I actually recommend this. I think it's actually a really good value. You get a lot of stuff up here that you can get. So you could get Hannibal fragments. I believe you can get Electra fragments. You can get Alfred fragments and they come in uh, sixes. So you only have to get them a couple times in a month. You have one. So pretty good way to level up those generals. Um, anyways, getting back to this. So Alfred would be a good choice for archers, right? If you can get him in there. But the other general that you really should consider, lots of people really should consider is you can look at Lee Shimon. He does have march size and troop attack, and then more march size down there, another 6%. So you're going to get 16% from him. And then obviously, the other obvious one is Minamoto. He is in here, and you're going to be able to ascend him. And when we look at his stuff here, though, there is no march size. So... Uh, I got to say that I kind of like Lee Shimon a little bit more than him just because March size is something that is so underrated in this game. But either of those would be a great choice. And Alfred or Electra would be underrated choices if you're going the free to play route. Now, Electra is going to take you a while because she's in the relics and it's not really easy to get in the relics. Like we're talking. So you're going to spend a lot of time in the relics and you're going to get a few fragments of her a month. You will be able to ascend her, but it's going to take a while. And then when it comes to the pairing, what you really should do after that with the pairing is that's where you find your premium generals and you pair them as the assistant. So let's see here if I have my siege. So yeah, so what I did with siege and I might as well just go with Siege right now. So on Archers, so let's say you go with Minamoto or, uh, or Electra or any of these other ones. Then what you want to do is get one of these premium generals like this, right? So this guy. Increase range troop attack by 40, march size by another 10. And the thing is... Like, you're not going to get 16 of him to ascend him unless you're the biggest coiner in the game. 
So just ignore that, but use them as an assistant. So now that we've covered archers, I'm going to show you my actual uh, siege general. And that's probably the best pairing, the one that I've actually taken my own advice on so far and mount, I guess. But what I have here, I have Ulysses Grant and I have three stardom so far. And I have the fragments to get them all the way up and I'm going to. Um, but I have them paired with a coiner general, Ramses. So that's the assistant. Now there are better ones. And then my other, gen my other siege general pairing is actually another tavern general. So these are the two siege generals I recommend as main generals. One is Ulysses Grant. And if you look, look at all these fragments I have, 234 more. So I can ascend him. It's just a matter of getting the blood and prioritizing. For me personally, the way I play, the way my alliance plays, I'm better off uh, upping all my duty and sub generals till I run out of fragments and then I'll get back to him. And now let's look at my other general right here, Matthias. He is not fully geared up yet because we don't run enough siege rallies that I need two done at the same time. So, and my dragons eat a lot. So I don't feel like finishing the gear for him yet, but I'm getting him prepared because we are close. So anyways, if I want to ascend him, look how many fragments I've already got from the tavern. Just because I've started to get them, starting to think ahead. So whenever I see him in the tavern, I grab him. So this is my second siege general. But you know what? To be honest, it wouldn't be that bad an idea to just go with two Ulysses Grants. Because... Ulysses arguably is a little better than Matthias because he does have a bit more march size, but they're both very good. I personally just wanted to change them just so I'm not confused when I'm selecting the preset. Also, this guy has more rally capacity. So I alliance rally capacity when you enhance him. Can we see it here? Yeah, so his third star is rally capacity 8%. So I wanted to have that as another option. But what I'm going to do when I pair him, I'm going to grab one of these three premium generals. So I have Philip II as a choice. I will never get 15 fragments of him to up him. And then I have Zuka. This is the one I'm really leaning to. This guy looks stud. He looks, and not talking about his appearance, ladies. I'm just talking about the stats. And then Patronus. So I'm looking at all three. And basically, that's where my option is going to come down to pairing them. And then I just spec them out and I put them as the option, and you get all these benefits, but I'm never gonna get these other benefits, right? I'm just gonna get the main gold book benefits. And then, if we wanna look at uh, mounted troops, so probably the best one that you are going to be able to go with is going to be Hannibal, which I showed you in the Alliance shop, or Martinez. Everybody likes Martinez, the downside is, he, him or his partner cannot take an attack book. But his attack is so high that it kind of doesn't matter. And then what I do is I put a monster troop attack as the sixth book on the assistant. And then it just becomes a real dominant boss for hitting anything on the map. I, take, I think only B17 gives me losses. And it's very, very small, like 6,000. And... Uh, other generals that you could go with in the tavern, uh, there really aren't too many that I would consider for mounted. I would just hold out for Martinez. He is difficult to find in there, but uh, he is by far the best available in the tavern, in my opinion. There are other ones like uh, this guy, Li Jing. He's okay, and you will he will pop up a lot more. This guy is one that, like, I'm just going to promote him. He's not going to be a PvP general. I'm talking about PvP stuff here. But uh, man, is that guy awesome to have as a partner on your uh, mounted bosses. Now, uh, we've covered three of them. Now, the most difficult one is going to be ground. This is the one. So you basically just have to accept that as a non-coiner or a low coiner, you're going to have to pick where you spend your money. And ground's going to be the best spot. Why? Because the only two options in the tavern really are Trajan and Karis, but I don't, I think he's over here in Europe. Let's look at him. Here he is. Oh, he's not available in the tavern. I thought he was. So that means that uh, Trajan is the only one available in there for ground. 
And I'll just tell you, like, he is so far below the other options that are available outside of the tavern. So because Trajan is so far below the other generals, like, he's actually pretty good. Like, you can use him as an assistant. I have him as an assistant. Uh, why? Because his march size. And because I just have other stuff to focus on, but I really should consider upgrading him as the assistant. But, uh, oh, he is my... So here is what I have going on. I have Elise and Trajan, and this book is a duplicate. There's no reason for me really to change it because I have all five of the PvP books on here with March Size and then the other buffs. So... Uh, if I was to change that, I'd change it to like March Speed to or Ground uh, Attack Against Monsters. It's just not worth my time to change it. But anyways, uh, so here is my... So here is my Ground March. I have Elise and Trajan. Since this, uh, since I chose this, there are better options than Trajan. There are things like Alessandra and uh, other high premium generals, but the thing you're never gonna be able to get around is the lead general here, Elise. You have two basic options, Elise or Scipio. And uh, the reason why, these are two premium generals that Ebony, I feel like Ebony might know that in the tavern, Trajan is so weak compared to the other ones that Scipio and Elise seem to pop up in events all the time. So although they're not free, you do have access to them. So for example, in uh, the Trial of Knights, usually Elise is in there. She's an option. So I feel like Ebony is kind of throwing a bone and saying, you know, we'll give them to you slowly, but you're going to have to forego Blood of Heirs as reward sometimes and choose the general. But... I would recommend one of those two. It really doesn't matter which one you go with. I find that Scipio pairs with more generals. Uh, Elise doesn't pair with Salt. Uh, Scipio pairs with almost everyone. They don't pair with each other. Scipio's top partner maybe might be Basil II. He's a really good one. Alessandro, Alessandra pairs with uh, Elise. And Trajan pairs with uh, both, I believe. He definitely pairs with Elise since I'm using her. But that's basically the strategy. And then Wall General. I've gone over this before. So I'm just going to show you guys. And I recommend this for everyone who is a low coiner. You can see I'm getting mine ready. She's Her uh, fourth spec is getting there. I'm starting to cultivate her up slowly. Uh, she's at 1300, 1200s. Once she uh, gets up and I start to ascend her a little bit, I'm going to be making the switch. This is going to be my main wall general. Why? Because there's fragments available for her. Look, look how many fragments I've already collected just from the tavern. So she's pretty much ready. I can almost max her out. And I can't do that with William Marshall because I have to choose where I'm going to spend my money. William Marshall is hard to get without playing the lottery in those, uh, those general packs. You just open them and you hope, hey, 1%, I get the general I want. And you're likely not going to. So why let Ebony make you gamble? Just choose a path. And to be honest, you use her, the free general, the tavern general, and then I'm going to use Joseph Johnston or George Dewey uh, as her assistant. So I'll get all my siege buffs through that. Or I can go with uh, Leo the Third, something like that, if they pair. I'll have to check that out. But I have all sorts of different generals I can use as combinations as the assistant. But the fact is, when choosing a main general, always think, will I ever be able to ascend them? How will I get their fragments? If the answer is no, use them as an assistant. There's nothing wrong with that. So I wanted to make this video just to uh, point that out to everybody. If you're a small coiner, it kills your momentum in the game, your development to switch on the fly like that. You can't keep up with the Joneses in this game. Just pick your path, pick, accept how much money you are willing to spend on the game and be the best you can be with that strategy. So anyways, Genghis, like, subscribe, leave a comment.